So I'm here uh, down on the south coast of England and uh, I come across this uh, old gunnery place. It's uh, a real uh, weird place in the dark. It's, it was like a massive big gunnery village. Uh, it was used for looking out for um, obviously invas invaders from Germany. It was used in World War One and also in World War Two. And as I say, it's a massive big village. This is just a part of it. It's like it goes down over the hills and there's bits of it what have been left and bits that are still here kind of thing. So it's not going to be a long investigation. It's pretty cold out here tonight. So uh, I just thought I'd give it a, like a, a quick 30 minute investigation and just see if anything does happen. So I'm here. I'm just having a walk around. That was just a grid. All these rooms actually... Um, did something that's quite a weird complex really. Some of it's still here, obviously, as you can see. So I thought it was just worth coming out and in the dark and seeing what happens, see if anything happens. Um, so it's a really interesting place to be honest. Uh, bits of it around here are really, really interesting. I say I've just walked past the old officers' quarters. Uh, that are actually lived in now by people. Um, so it's just walk by so quiet, there's nobody around at all. So if anything does happen, it will be interesting. As I said, there's a, there's a nappy here, there's everything was here, officers' quarters and and there's bits like a quarter of a mile away that are still here. Okay, is there any spirits with me? Any spirits at all that wish to communicate with me? Can you come forward? Give us a sign that you are here. Can we hear your movement? Maybe if there's any soldiers that are still guarding the waters of England. If you were here, the brave men and women of World War One, World War Two. If you want to come make yourself known, you're quite free to do so. Can we hear you marching maybe? Can we hear your boots walk towards me? really is quiet here. It's, not, it's weird because I'm like on the coast and there's not even like any seagull noises or anything like that. It's just a, a drip of a gutter you can hear. It's all these little compartments and little rooms all used for little different things. Um, I can't actually see to actually tell you what they were. Maybe you could knock on this door for me. Make a sound on this door. Come on, any spirit people with me in this part of the battlements as it was? Where you protected England with respect? Can you come forward and do something for me? Can you throw something at me maybe? Maybe throw a stone? My experience, anything that's to do with the military, have always proved to be possibly better investigations. Maybe it's because you were strong people. Can 
you throw something. Bang on one of these windows. Anything at all, come forward and do it. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate we've got nothing, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go um, up those stairs behind me, if you can see them, and um, on top of there is the old, where they used to have the big guns that used to look over towards the sea, um, which was obviously looking out for contruders, and the, the guns have gone now, but you can, I'll show you where the big pit is downstairs, where the guns were, and they've actually got the degrees still marked on the concrete floor, so that's quite interesting. That's, that's an interesting uh, place. Um, this is probably the only main bit that's still standing, to be honest. Uh, I've been down to uh, what we're going to do later, I'll take you to somewhere else. Um, we're going to go down the dark wooded path to actually get there. So uh, we'll, we'll go there later and have a look at that and I'll show you what's uh, in that compartment. What, what I'll do now, I'll take you up to where the gun used to be. So I'm obviously stood now where the gun would have been. Obviously the gun's gone now, you can see where it would have sat. So it would have sat level with that. And this is uh, where the big guns would have been. The moon's out now, so it's giving a little bit of um, natural light to see because it's very careful because let's take you up to this bit here now. Um, Very careful. The only reason being is uh, there's unprotected edges and it's dark. So um, I don't know if you can see. I don't think you can see on the camera. But you can actually look. Well, you can't see it, but along there they got like all the numbers of the degrees where they would have fired the gun. So it went from there and around there. And obviously if you look out there, you, well, you can see it on camera, but you're actually looking out to sea. So that's where the, the gun would have been. Uh, this compartment here, that used to be the shell hoist. The hoist for the shells. I said, be really careful because you can see there, there's a big gap that goes down to the uh, gunning area. This is certainly different because I don't usually do things outside and I thought this was a good opportunity to come and do something. So what we'll do now, we'll walk back and um, I'm just going to give it one more try down here, see if anything happens. So it's got to be... Is the owls coming out to play now? That bit was there. It's so so quiet. There's no cars around here. There's there's no roads. There's nothing around here at all. To actually make a noise, as I said, there's not even any birds and seagulls. We've been near the coast. I thought there'd be a lot of seagulls, but there isn't. It's a little bit eerie. Um, I think I'm more frightened of anybody living being here, to be honest. But uh, there's 
That's a motorbike. Now I've just said I've not heard traffic all week here and as I said a motorbike, where the hell that was coming from, I don't really know. It's got to be really careful going down these stairs, so it's gonna swap hands. Because I can't see. It's your last chance now to do something for me. I'm going to be going in a minute. Is any, any spirit people with me? Please, can you give me a sign that you're here? Can you make a noise? Bang on something. Come and touch me. You throw a stone at me, maybe. As you see, there it was built in 1904. Right, I think what we'll do, we'll move on. And um, I'll go and show the other bit and see what happens down there. Right, to get to this bit, I'm going to have to go right off the beaten track and uh, deep into the wood to actually find this. Um, I'm totally on my own, so there's nobody here. There's, there's not even anybody around here, to be honest. Be very surprised if there's actually anybody here living anyway. Um, I just want to show you this last bit before I end the video. So it's really careful when I'm walking because it's pitch black. Um, also, I've got the night vision on on the camera. Uh, just switch that off. There you go. I'm in the middle of the woods, <laughs> on my own in the dark, and that's how dark it is. Oh. It's going to light me way with this. So that gives me to come back on. Okay, so we're now in the observation room. Uh, this is where we're standing now. It was built during the Second World War, this bit, and it was manned by signalers, uh, telephonists, a gun control officer, and there was also Clark actually in here as well. And their role was to identify ships and measure the distance, course, and speed using a depression position finder and a depression range finder. So then they would make the calculations, which would allow for the change in position of moving targets during the flight time of the shell and all the information would then be relayed to the gun crews in the uh, command center so as you can see now you just that's the where the lookout would have been um, so that's like looking over towards where the harbor harbor is and then as you look that way you're looking out to you're looking out to sea couple of ships out there as well, I hope you can see them on camera. Okay, if there's any spirit people with me in this observation room, to the brave men and women from World War, I come with total respect for you, I come with total respect for what you did to us, or what you did for us in the World War. Could you please come forward? Please come forward and make yourself be known to me tonight in this in this room. Could you possibly make a sound? Could you walk towards me? If you 
you don't want me here, then please let us know. It's deathly quiet. It's so quiet outside as well. Come on, give us a sign that you still come back for whatever reason to this place. There was um, somebody who came up to the where we've been, where I just showed you in the old gunnery area, uh, where the guns were. Somebody was there in the day and they had quite a strange experience. I can't actually remember uh, what the experience was now, but something happened to them there. Come on to the spirits of this gunnery village, as I call it. Can you walk, can we hear your footsteps? Can you walk through the door? If I whistle, can you whistle back? <whistles> can you whistle back for me? Make a sound. Is that a whistle? I'm not sure if that was a whistle. If I whistle, can you whistle back? Seriously, I don't. I did that twice, and as I went, I didn't get the. I got the. At the end, now whether it was an echo. I don't know, but I did that twice, and I thought I heard it. So I do it again, and then you know it's not me. If there's any spirits with us, if I whistle, can you please whistle back? If I whistle, can you whistle back? <whistles> no, I didn't hear it. Maybe it was just my ears, maybe it was just a bit of an echo, I don't know. It just sounds a bit strange that I got it twice. But I've just done it again as you heard, and I've, I've got nothing, so I don't know. So I just thought I'd come and give you this quick video, it's not, it was not never going to be a long video, I just thought I'd come and uh, do something maybe a little bit different, but I've just been outside that uh, door as you come in, and I just like heard a real big laugh, like a ha 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 ha, that sort of laugh, but I am putting it down to possibly, it, it was a seabird to be honest, I've not heard any seabirds at all, as I say you don't hear seagulls or anything around here, but it, I, I'm putting it down to some kind of bird. But it just sounded, uh, it just sounded like somebody, like mockingly laughing. So until next time, I'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.